Hi Snooker fans, it's Curtis Brave of AcuSports.club. I'm here with former English Under-21 champion and current world number 74, Sean O'Sullivan, to do a question and answer session. How are you, Sean? Good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. All right, Sean, firstly, what made you take up snooker? Uh, well, it all started from Paul, really. Um, my mum and dad used to run a pub in near where I live, and uh, just from there, when I was a youngster, so two or three, messing about on the table. You know it is. From there, got a bit taller, started playing a bit more. I think I got to about eight, and my dad said, do you want to go for a game of snooker? And I haven't looked back since. Oh, good stuff. And to date, who's had the most influence on your career? Oh, like I said, my dad. Um, the amount of hours that we've done, the amount of travelling we've done, without him, I, I wouldn't be where I am now. Yeah, that's nice. And Sean, with the season starting tomorrow, what's your coming goals for the season? Uh, without doubt, it's getting in the top 64. Um, I've only got a season to do it, but I know, I know I can do it. I know I'm playing well enough, and I know, you know, players out there, I, I think I'm good enough to do it. Okay, Sean, there's loads of great queue makers out there at the moment. But what queue do you currently use? Uh, I have a John Paris Ultimate. Okay, and what tip do you use, Sean? Uh, Blue Diamond. Okay, Sean. Now you've played a lot of matches in your career, Sean. What's your most memorable match to date? I would have to say beating Anthony Hamilton 6-4 in the UK. I was 4-0 down and he was, you know, I was practising a lot with him at the time. So he's such a class player and I respect, uh, respect him a lot. So to beat him in, in that manner was, was great for me. And Sean, I know this is a bit of a tough one, but what's your most painful defeat? Well, I'd say losing to Michael White from 4-1 up. You know, I, one ball away from going 5-1 up. Chucked it away, really, and um, yeah, that's probably the, the one that hurts the most to qualify for China. Okay, Sean, there's a lot of tough match players on the tour, but who do you find the toughest to beat? Uh, well, I've only played him once, it happened to be on TV actually. Um, it's got to be Mark Selby. Okay, Sean, to date, what's your best personal achievement in snooker? Probably winning the England under 21s, I'd say. Um, as a junior, it was always the one that got away from winning a, a national title so to finally do it be, at my last chance I was really pleased with that Alright Sean I see you around the tour quite a lot and I see that you're quite a likeable lad you always wrapped around a lot of friends but who would you say is your best friend on tour? I wouldn't say one best mate I, I hang around with a lot of, a lot of people um, like Martin Gould Martin O'Donnell Alan Taylor um, Sanderson Lamb all that lot so yeah Okay Sean what's your favourite food? Well, as you know, Kurt, it's either chicken or steak, isn't it? <laughs> Nando's or a steakhouse does me. And your favourite drink? Uh, well, you probably can't tell, but protein shake. <laughs> <laughs> sure, what's your favourite venue to play at? Um, Firth, the, for the Paul Hunter Classic by a mile. Uh, I, I was lucky enough to play on TV there, so yeah. Yeah. Now you guys have got a really, really tough schedule, tournaments week in, week out, uh, but when you actually do get a chance to relax, where do you like to relax away from snooker? Uh, well, strangely enough, I, I love going to the gym, that's how I get rid of any stress, that's how I chill out, go to the gym near enough every day. Okay, Sean, what's your favourite music to listen to? Uh, I like a bit of Coldplay, that's, I'm going to see them soon with my girlfriend, so yeah, I can't wait. Okay, Sean, uh, growing up, what was, who was your sporting hero? Ronnie, Ronnie O'Sullivan by a mile, yeah. Okay, Sean, and last question, mate. If you could run well snooker, what changes would you make and why? First thing, I think the fact that we're, there's 128 professionals on the tour. We are professional sportsmen and we're not, getting, we're not guaranteed a wage. Certainly not the lower ranked players anyway. I mean, I know you, Barry says you've got, to, you've got to earn it, but we should have some sort of wage if you haven't got a sponsor you've got no hope of being able to pay for things until you, until you start winning obviously um, the other thing I'd say is uh, the draws they need to bring the draws out a lot quicker than, the, than they are I know obviously sh um, a draw structure and things like that they need to sort out but they need to bring them out quicker because it's too much for hotels and that a couple of days before uh, a, a match so they need to sort that out all right, Sean, thank you so much for your time, mate, and all of us at Q Sports Club are wish you the very, very best for the coming season. Cheers, thanks very much. Thanks, Sean.